To automate our example business process, the automation solution needs to interact with the legacy CRM system. Specifically, it needs to click the various Add and New buttons, fill in text fields, choose options from drop-down lists, and select radio buttons. All these components of the application are referred to as screen elements. Every one of those screen elements must somehow be represented in our Automation Studio project. To add representations of those objects to our project, we must capture each one of those screen elements individually. In this video, we will see how to capture one of the buttons. The process is identical for all types of screen elements. Start by launching the Screen Element Capture Wizard. Press the Alt and Tab keys to select the CRM window. Instead of launching the Screen Element Capture Wizard from Automation Studio, you can press the Ctrl, Shift, and Z keys on your keyboard, even when the Automation Studio is minimized. Note that the screen elements get highlighted as you hover over them. The capturing assistant shows identifying information about the screen element to help you ensure you are selecting the element you want. Hover over the element you want to capture and click. You are returned to Automation Studio automatically. This window shows a screenshot of the application. The screen element we captured is highlighted. These settings allow you to specify how the screen element should be identified during runtime. For information about each of these, see the online help. In most cases, you can assume that the default settings are adequate. Click Save to close the window. The screen element is listed in the Assets tree. Below the screen element are its methods, properties, and events. To illustrate, we will drag its click method into the builder area for a step in the workflow. The button we captured will be clicked when the workflow reaches the step. 